So in the last couple of videos we have covered what is Macrofix neuron, how to implement n function, n not function, x or function using Macrofix neuron. So now in this video we'll see what is HEP network and its training algorithm. So hello there, I am Shayan and you are watching Tech for Trick. So let's see what is HEP network and its training algorithm. So in 1949, Donald Hub stated that in brain, the learning is performed by the change in the synaptic gap. As you know, artificial neural network is basically, it mimics our brain. And uh, synapse, uh, axon, these are present in our neurons. So if you don't know what is synapse, axon, there is a link in the description box below. Please go and watch that video. I have already discussed about this in the what is artificial neural network video. So I have explained that when an axon of cell A is close enough to excite cell B and repeatedly tries to fire it, some growth process takes place in one or both the cells such that the efficiency of one of the cell A uh, which is firing B is increased. According to the rule in artificial neural network, the weight vector is found to increase proportionately to the product of the input and the learning signal. So how to update the weight in HEP network? So this is how we can update the weight in HEP network. WI new is equal to WI old plus XI uh, times Y. So here WI is, is, uh, is a weight connection on XI. XI is the input and Y is the output. HEP rule can also be used for pattern recognition, pattern uh, association, pattern classification, etc. Logic functions like AND or XOR can be implemented using HEP network. HEP network is best suited on bipolar data over binary data. Why? Because in binary data there is 1 and 0 and in bipolar there is 1 and minus 1. So if we update the weight with 0, so if each and everything will be 0. So we don't uh, want that. So that is why we use 1 and minus 1 that is bipolar data. Here u refers to each training input and v refers to the target output. So u colon v refers to the each training input and target output pair. So the algorithm is look like this. If there exists a pair of training input and target output then the training process will continue else it will be stopped. So let us see the flowchart of HEP network. So start so then initialize the weights first and see there is a decision box for each u and v of there is a pair u refers to the training input and uh, v refers to the target output so for each u and v if there exists a pair of training input and target output then the training process will continue otherwise it will be stopped so for yes First, then so for yes, first we have to add the activation function for inputs. So we are using identity function. So UI, so this is the activation of training input. So UI will be assigned to XI, and then we have to add the activation function of for output units. That is T will be assigned to U, and this is how we can update the weights with this formula, and then and this formula with we can update the bias and the stop. And if we get no, then the training will be stopped. So let us see the algorithm now. So after watching the flowchart, the algorithm will be simple for you. So for step one, initialize the weights. So we may start, uh, we may set it to zero. So I uh, wi is equal to zero. So I equal to one to n. N refers to the total number of input neurons. So step two is saying that we have to perform uh, from step 3 to step 5 for each input training and target output pair so for step 3 it is saying we have to set activation functions for input so generally it is identity function that is ui will be set to xi for i equal to 1 to n and for step 4 we have to set the activation function for output and in step 5 we have to adjust the weights and bias so weight updation formula can also be written as a vector form like this w new is equal to w old plus x of y 
the changes in the weights can be represented as delta w is equal to x times y and this is how the final formula will be look like w new equal to w old plus delta w or the changes of weights so that's it for hip network if you learn something new please hit the like button share it with your friends and comment down if you have any queries in the next video we will see how to solve any mathematical problem with hip network uh, that is for today thanks for watching do not forget to subscribe this channel and i'll see you in the next video